Hey guys, it's Quinn, Elegant Making Love Magazine. Um, I wanted to do something a little different um, today. Uh, we had some footage that we shot uh, a little while ago and uh, um, I thought it would be kind of cool to introduce everybody to just how Elegance on 18 Wheels actually came to be. And it was actually through building these models and um, from the Elegant Model Truck Fleet. So we did a little thing uh, here recently and I uh, just wanted to share it with you. If you want to see more of, you know, this particular uh, application of, of who I am and what, you know, started the company, just let me know. Anyway, check out the footage. I hope you like it. Okay. Okie doke. How's everybody doing today? Well, uh, we're gonna be doing something a little different today uh, to kick the series off. Um, I've got a unit right here that um, that's very, very, very special to me. Um, I actually did this unit um, in the late 80s, early 90s for Double Eagle Industries and uh, for Mr. Ray Miller at Double Eagle. and. Um, when Double Eagle closed the doors, they end up auctioning off a whole lot of the stuff that um, uh, that was, you know, there on display. And it was, uh, if anybody remember, these trucks used to actually sit in the entrance way when you walked into Double Eagle, the models used to be in there. Well, this is one of those. And you know, in my office in there, when we do some of the other videos, you see some of the big scale models of Peterbilt and of Randy Sneedon. Um, the um, Al Scarborough um, Peterbilt, uh, the Dave Clark Peterbilt, uh, all those are 16 scale, even the BJ and the Bear uh, truck, those are all 16 scale trucks. Well, this is a 16 scale truck too. And this is very special to me because uh, Daryl Kaufman's brother, Dale, uh, actually got this from auction when they were selling a bunch of the stuff away from W. He saw it and he was like, oh my goodness, that's the one that Quinn did, I, I want that. And they'll actually end up getting it. And um, it was uh, in kind of rough shape, as you can see. Um, the sleeper had come off of it and a bunch of the chrome and everything was off of it. Um, so Dale asked me, Quinn, could you come get this and, and fix it back up for me and make it like new? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna sit here and we're gonna actually go through and we're gonna make this bad boy uh, look like new for Dale and uh, get it back to him uh, this year because uh, it's it's in it's in some rough shape and we got a little bit of stuff to do so without further ado let's uh, get her cleaned up and uh, take the parts off that need to be taken off check some of the other stuff and see what's loose and what's not and get this bad boy back together we'll be right back well we took the sleeper off and what I'm getting ready to do now is do uh, some actual cleaning. And uh, we've got some special brushes that I use, makeup brushes, which are really soft. And uh, you can really use them on the, the paint, not have to worry about scuffing anything. And it won't knock any of the, the delicate small stuff off of it. So we're gonna get our dusted off. And I've got a, a little solution here that's got some alcohol and um, uh, a little bit of, um, like a dish dishwashing soap in it, so it'll help uh, clean the. It's like a car wash for for models. So something I dreamed up years ago to help clean up everything, and we're gonna get started here. So let's get her going. First off, we're gonna get started dusting everything off. Cause it is wow, it's got a lot of years of dust and dust on it. flying here. Whew. Wow. Yeah, 
as you see, these are some really good brushes. They, they're really gentle and uh, you can really reach in those tight spots with it and uh, get that, that stuff out the crevices. solution here. So uh, you just check and see like I told you before. Just check and see what you got to um, get glued in place first and um, uh, once you get everything secured back in place you can pretty much uh, you know start back uh, going full forward with everything. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be using some super glues with uh, because we got a lot of pieces that are still in place and you don't need to use a, um, a lot of the uh, paste glues uh, because like I said, we're saving uh, a lot of the stuff that's actually already on here. So we're just going to preserve what we already have check and see what we got that needs to be um, you know, touched up and, and held up. Uh, I was like, man, I hope I never have to replace these bad boys. Yeah, guess what? We're replacing them. <laughs> there you guys, so what I'm gonna do now uh, I'm going to get all these pieces put back in place that we know that, that has come off and um, show you how we're going to wash everything up and get everything shined back up and get her ready to take back to Daryl. I mean Dale. So, alright guys, see you in a little bit. Okay, remember I told you we were going to get a, a little car wash? Well, this is the car wash. back get the soap off of it We wipe her down once we get uh, everything back on here in, in place and right get the residue off with some clean water. It should be good to go. Okay, guys, that's it. Now to finish putting all the small pieces back on here that broke off and um, get her back to a nice, solid uh, looking A model Kenworth. So we'll be right back. Okay, guys, as you can see, I've been a little busy here. Got pretty much all the uh, pieces back in place. We got um, the boxes back on, we got the tanks back on, we got the exhaust, um, we got the lights, uh, we got some more lights, we want the turn signals and everything we're gonna put on once we get the sleeper mounted. So that's what we're getting ready to do now. And I wanted you guys to actually be come, to come back and show you that part. Uh, so you can see what it is we're gonna be doing here with that. Uh, so let's get started with mounting that sleeper back on here, which will actually bring everything else back together once you see it uh, mounted on. And I know a lot of people have asked me what, um, what paste and what glues and stuff I was using this go around. Well, I'm gonna be using a combination of glues this time because of fact that it's a repair and it's very crucial that we make sure everything is in place so we're going to be using uh, super glues and the paste and the reason we're using both of them because um, the epoxy and everything I mean the, the quick holds it in place while the other glue actually holds it and bonds everything together so we got the sleeper sitting over there we already got it ready to be mounted and everything so 
Let's go ahead and stick her in place. This is 120 inch, 116 scale, uh, big double eagle sleeper that goes on here. And it's not an easy task, but this how it actually goes on. Set that lined up with those exhaust stacks. Set, the, set that bad boy in place. One good push and snap. Sure she's there you go yep she's in place positioned Sitting nice and even. Everything is in place. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to let her rest in place. And that's when we're going to do the final touch ups and get all the. Uh, lights back on all the marker lights, you know back in position um, Any marker turn signals you want to get all those back in place and she'll be ready to head back to uh, ship she wanna with uh, Dale and Thanks Dale for trusting her with me and getting her back together for you pretty much it guys That's how you actually put a 30-year model back together and get it back to the uh, owner and, and hope they like it. All right, guys, we'll see you in a little bit. When we get ready to put her back together in the case. All right. So, guys, that's it. We got her back together, got her touched up, and she's good as new. Moving on, Gene Sherendale, Big Rig KW is back together and ready to go home. So, Dale, I'll be bringing this to you real soon, buddy. She's back together and looking good. Thank you for trusting her with me, and uh, it's good to have her back home for a little while, and um, it's time to let her get to your place. All right, buddy. We'll see you later. Thank you.